this lesson, I want to talk to you guys about resonance, not the Renaissance, which was something that happened a long time ago, not residence, or especially residence evil, because I don't even think that exists. They should make a game called Resonance Evil based on physics. But anyways, I'm getting off topic here. In order to understand resonance, we first need to understand something called natural frequency. Now, natural frequency is the tendency of objects, any object, to vibrate at a certain natural frequency. So go ahead and do this. Go ahead to your china cabinet, hopefully it's your parents, and grab one of your dad's nice wine glasses. Why? Because I hate your dad, as you already know. Now go ahead and tap this wine glass, and when you do, the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to hear a sound coming from it. Now the sound is caused by vibrations that were caused whenever you tap that wine glass, and whenever this wine glass vibrates back and forth at a certain frequency, it's going to cause a certain sound to come from it. Now that's going to be the natural frequency of the wine glass and it's going to be the same every time you tap that wine glass. That's why when you tap it one time it's like ee, and you tap it another time it's not like brr, brr, brr. you know whenever you tap a wine glass the frequency is going to be the same or the sound coming from it is going to be the same every time. Now we'll go ahead and make up a frequency and we'll say that this has like 40 cycles per second which is way off by the way but you know just to demonstrate this example it'll be fine so this wine glass is vibrating at 40 vibrations per second so why did I say that well I needed to show you guys what natural frequency is in order to describe resonance now what resonance is is when you have two objects and when one object vibrating, we'll say wine glass A, causes another object to vibrate at its natural frequency. Okay, so does that mean that if I had two identical wine glasses, A and B, then what I could do is I could tap A, cause it to vibrate, and that would cause wine glass B to vibrate? What the heck is going on? Well, actually, that is exactly what I mean, and that's what resonance is. Again, one last time. When one object vibrating, in this case, wine glass A, causes another object to vibrate, in this case, wine glass B, at its natural frequency. Now, a cool experiment was done by Mythbusters. I don't know if any of you guys watch Mythbusters, but, um, well, without going too in depth about Mythbusters, they took this wine glass and they wanted to see if you could break it by just, you ever see the commercials where opera singers like go, ah, and like they break someone's glasses or the wine glass, well they wanted to test this basically, so they took a wine glass, right like this, looked very similar to that, let me draw a little bit better, well that's a little bit worse, and good enough. So they took a wine glass and they tapped it and they heard the sound coming from it and they found out that this was basically its natural frequency. So we'll say that 40 cycles per second. Close enough. So what they did then is they got another sound source such as a speaker. Let's see how good I can draw a speaker. Not that bad. And they played a sound coming from the speaker at the exact frequency that this wine glass's natural frequency occurred. So when this sound from the speaker was intense enough, what it did is it caused the wine glass to vibrate so intensely until it finally shattered, thus proving that resonance, excuse me, I keep saying resonance, resonance can cause a wine glass to break. That was basically the myth. Now, a couple things that people may get confused about is this. First of all, notice that every sound, for example, if you played your favorite band, Counting Crows, Red Hot Chili Peppers, every sound coming from the speaker right here is going to cause the glass to vibrate a little bit. Why is that? That's just because there are particles in the air, and whenever you cause a sound, it pushes against those particles, and it'll cause the wine glass to vibrate. However, that doesn't mean that resonance is happening. Resonance is only when you have a sound with a certain frequency, like, um, we'll just give it a variable, uh, I don't know, we'll give the frequency a variable Y, and it causes the wine glass to vibrate at that certain frequency why? So only when you have the source vibrating at a certain frequency and it causes an other object to vibrate at the same frequency 
aka its natural frequency does resonance occur not just whenever you have a sound and it's making something else move like yelling into your computer desk or something like that